Hi, everybody. I'm Jarrett Rush. I'm the Director of Content Marketing here at Idea Grove. And the, the guy on the other side of the screen with me is uh, John Lacey. He's our agency president. And uh, as this uh, COVID stuff sort of kind of got rolling, he and I were having conversations. And he mentioned uh, wanting to make sure we were able to take advantage of the crisis. And, and that's, a, that's a phrase that can kind of feel a little bit icky if you, if, it, if you think of it in terms of it being opportunistic. I think, you know, John and I, you and I have talked a little bit about where the phrase came from. And I, I mentioned the first, my first recollection of it was Rahm Emanuel uh, in uh, the Obama administration talking about some crisis that I don't even remember what it was now, but it, it felt weird coming from him in, in a political nature. And I think it can feel a little bit weird uh, coming from, uh, from a business. It, it sounds like you're trying to take advantage of something that maybe you shouldn't be taking advantage of, but that's not necessarily the case, I, I don't think. So, so when you think of taking advantage of a crisis, what do you think that means? Yeah, I, you know, when I think about it, I think about the phrase, never waste a good crisis. Um, it really isn't about how to be opportunistic uh, in the world. It's how to really take a look inside and see where you need to make improvements. Uh, most crises um, will, they'll expose things that aren't necessarily working really well within your organization and give you an opportunity to address it. Um, but before you can even get into that addressing it stage, you have to have a, a mindset of abundance uh, and look at everything in life as an opportunity. And so when a crisis comes along, um, my particular perspective is to see it as, as a challenge instead of a, as something that's happening to us. So crisis, I guess, um, you know, in, in this moment, it feels very all encompassing. We're all dealing with this thing that has sort of knocked everybody off their feet. But a crisis, the definition of a crisis isn't necessarily that. It sounds like from what you said a second ago, that a crisis could be something that's just happening inside your organization. It doesn't have to be something that, that we're all experiencing. Yeah, you know, as examples, you know, I, I've been in organizations in my past where we had plenty of outstanding uh, accounts receivable, but we didn't have a, a whole lot of cash in the bank. And that became a very short term, how do we fix this crisis so that we could meet our current obligations? And that exposed some flaws in our cash collection process and how we were reminding our clients uh, that we needed to be paid. Um, and we were able to take that opportunity or that crisis and turn it into an opportunity to improve how we're doing things ourselves. You said uh, an attitude of abundance, or, or I think that's what you mentioned a second ago. Go a little bit more into that and what that means and how that can be applied here. Sure, so, uh, you know, there's, from my perspective, there's two viewpoints in the world, right? There's a, a, a scarcity viewpoint or an abundance viewpoint. And a lot of this world is centered around, um, in order for me to win, you have to lose, which is a scarcity mentality. And I like to approach life more of a, there's plenty for everybody and, and we can all win at this game called life, right? And as part of that abundance mentality, um, there's a natural case for preparedness, I guess. Um, so you, you're saying, yeah, that there's a lot that can happen out there in the world. There's a lot for us to each take, adva you know, take advantage of and win at. But at the same time, you have to be prepared such that when an opportunity arises, you can then go ahead and be, and be prepared to take advantage of it. Does that make sense? Yeah, you know, for sure, it does. Uh, so if, if you don't have that mindset right now, you know, if, if you are of, a, of the scarcity mindset as opposed to the abundance mindset, how do you make the switch? Like, is it, a, it, it doesn't seem like it can be something you kind of just turn on and off. It, it, it's going to require a bit of a journey. But how do you start that making that switch to where you're thinking differently? Yeah, I, I think um, the switch doesn't happen quickly. It is definitely not a, uh, I flip some sort of internal mechanism and I suddenly see the world differently. I think that those people with a scarcity mindset have either been taught that way by their predecessors or have had a series of life events happen to them which beat them down. And um, I've always tried to take life events as, a, as lessons instead of lessons that I could learn from instead of things that happened to me. And so, you know, over time I've developed this abundance mindset. Um, and I, you know, I'll tell you that when this first thing, when this COVID thing first happened, I did have a little bit of fear come in and like, okay, how do we, 
you know, how do we protect ourselves? How do I protect the 26 employees that are underneath um, my tutelage and, uh, you know, underneath Scott's company? And Scott, it was really Scott that helped re-kick in my, my abundance um, mentality because he said, look, I've lived through worse things and, and I've survived. We are going to come out of this stronger. And I immediately was able to kind of redraw on that inner strength and, and move things forward. And, and I think we're doing a great job as a team. Um, again, taking advantage is not the right word, but being prepared and doing the things we need to do so that we are, we as an organization will come out of this stronger than we went in. Is there a way to do that where you take advantage of the opportunity without feeling like you're being opportunistic? You know, I, again, I think that's just like a, how you see the world. I, again, I, I am, um, I know that there's a lot going on in the world right now. And I know that there are a lot of companies that um, aren't going to make it through this. And it breaks my heart to, you know, even acknowledge that. However, for us, um, you know, we want to make sure that, that our family, our team, the people that we have here at, at Idea Grow are part of the survivors uh, through this crisis. And so I, I don't, I don't see what we're doing as opportunistic as much more, much more as survivalist. And it just happens to be that we're going to be able to take advantage of some of the opportunities that, that others aren't going to be able to take advantage of because they're no longer around. That makes sense. Well, the, John, that was everything I had for you. I appreciate the, the, the spending a few minutes today uh, just chatting about how to take advantage of an opportunity uh, and uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much. Thanks, John.